Hello everyone. In this lecture, you will learn how to create a country info fragment class. So let's start it. Go to app under Java, under your package name, go to fragment directory and here you can see we have a location fragment. Open it and delete the uh, extra code from this file. Just uh, this one. Okay, do not delete, just you have to uh, change this binding class because in the last video we have changed our layout name which was a fragment locate me. Okay, so just type starting here fragment locate me binding this one and also type it here. Now remove this bind method. Now it has been done. Now create activity contact. Now initialize it here. Fine. Now there is a no list first of all uh, remove this old import okay now fine as you can see for fetching the details from the location api we not need any list or adapter class so no need to initialize it here so we can simply call our response class in this on create view method no need to create a separate method or functions. It is a simple API, so no need to worry about it. So let's start it. Okay. Now create the API interface first of all. API client. Okay. Now dot get. You have to select your another get country client. Okay, do not select the get client because get client was used for game hubs gaming API, right? And we have created this get country client. Let me show you here. This one we have to use this one because we are using the base URL for API URL here. Okay, so let's sele select get country client now create your api interface class fine now call your response class which is the country response uh, it is here country response okay pass it here country response and uh, name it call call this api interface okay now get as you can see in the API interface, we have created a method get country info. We have to call it get country info, right? Now make a call in queue. Now you have to pass a callback country response. It, it is done. Okay. Now inside this own response, first of all, we have to check whether we are receiving the response for body or not. So Take the response body from this response class. Okay, so let's create a country response. Country response equal to a response to body. Okay. Now also we have to check whether this response variable have the data from the API or not. So simply we can check whether it is null or not. Okay, because there is a not any status and other things so simply we will check whether it is null or not okay let's take it uh, first of all take a if condition now country response okay check whether it is null or not fine this means not null okay and this is means it is equal to null and it is not equals to null okay null means uh, the above parameters and values are not have empty okay so if it is not empty 
then we can start showing our data into our text views okay so first of all open the locate me fragment as you can see the first text view is tv ip so we have to set ip address on this text view okay so call this text view using the binding tv ip now set the text using set text property and you have to set text dynamically okay so get it from the country response variable country response now get country i get ip okay now it has been done also as you can see we have a another text view which is showing a country code okay so call tv country okay now set text country response dot get country okay it will show country code okay now as you can see there is no image but uh, how you will get image using this country code so there is a another approach i will tell you how you can do that you have to just visit this flagcdn.com website okay now after this uh, you have to click on see uses okay now you have to select uh, type of uh, images which you want to show in your website or application for example we are using png version so let's select png version let's flat original or waving type so we are using a waving type and after that you have to select the size as you can see i have create a size of image view 256 and 192 okay so so select this 256 and 192 from here okay just click on it and as you can see it is showing the image url you have to copy this src file okay fine copy this one and paste it in the browser as you can see it is working fine and suppose that i want to show a india image then simply i can replace this ua with in okay it will show a indian flag and suppose that i want to show a us flag simply replace the in with us it will show a us so let's showing this image url go to our fragment and how we can show that you can show it using a glide library just call it glide okay now dot with sorry not in it with it pass activity context and load image url our image url this one okay as you know this is our image url and where we have to show this we have to show into the binding sorry it will note the binding uh, it will use our image view where we want to show okay so you have to call a into method first into now you have to call our image view using a binding binding dot our uh, image name uh, id is img flag so select this one and it has been done but as you can see this is a static url it will show every time a indian flag because i am using in.png okay but we want to show a dynamic uh, image of country flag uh, according to the user's ip address so how we can do that it is very simple so let me uh, teach you we have to just remove this in.png okay remove this one just told me do not remove the ending slash okay now after the quotes make a plus sign okay now in this plus sign we have to pass a country code because our country code is also in okay and uh, we need country code to show the image okay you know but uh, there is an issue and issue is that uh, this country code is always capital letter but we need a lowercase letter 
so we have to convert it to lower case it is very simple one liner code uh, how to get country code simply you have to call this one okay country response do not give any space because we are passing a url parameter okay so no need to give any space okay now after country response dot get country okay now it we are getting this country code in but it is in capital letter so we have to make it lowercase just what you can do after the getting country code just make a dot and type to lowercase and it will provide a uh, country code in the small case letter okay now after that we can see that we we have to use a dot png extension to show a png image okay so you have to concat internet by pressing plus sign key again and make a double quote and inside this double quote pass a this extension dot png copy this one and paste it here and it has been done as you can see let me show you as you can see it is here okay we have to simply take a glide with context okay load the url url was static but we have converted it into dynamic using some parameters value and we have load this image into our img flag image view right nothing else okay hope you understand now one more thing is remaining what is that it is that we have to set our visibility to our layouts okay and hide the progress bar so you can do it here first of all set the visibility to our nested scroll view let's call it nested scroll view sorry dot nested scroll view and dot set visibility visible okay now call progress bar set its visibility to gone fine now it has been done but uh, we have to also identify the error whether this response was null then what you, how you will learn uh, about the error so simply make a else and the path to message here okay uh, call the function class let's first we have to create a function class initialize it private function function okay now function initialize it after activity context function is equal to new function now pass activity context here okay it has been done now we can call port of using function okay now we can pass a error here okay let's get resources get string get string r dot sorry r dot string wait a minute r dot string dot api not found this one okay now copy this so toast method okay and paste it also in the on failure and replace api not found with api field api field fine now press alt press enter all these words okay fine everything is done there is no issue just a single warning warning is because of this uh, glide because there is no alternative available on the github when it was available we will update it in the future okay do not worry about it is still working so you can use it without any issue just ignore the warnings okay and uh, now we have to run our app to check whether it is working or not so first of all check whether we have connected our location fragment in the bottom bar or not so just go to the activity then main activity and check 
we have pass a navigation location id here and also go to the navigation and mobile navigation dot xm file and here you can check we have also pass it here okay so no need to worry about it we just simply run it please allow me some time to connect my device let me to do just wait Go to the device manager. Click this icon. Name it. Device has been connected now. Now we have to run. First of all, let me open my phone explorer. So now let's run the app. As you can see our app has been installed successfully. Taking some time to connect it to API and it is working fine. And now go to loc locate me fragment. As you can see, there is a, some error which is related to API error. Uh, means there is no API connection is made. We have to check whether this error was from. Okay, so this error was from here. API failed from here. Okay, because no connection is made. It means because if connection is made, then it will show API not found error. Okay, so error is here so what to, first of all we have to check our api interface because we have created api interface here only now check the api url parameters yeah yes there, uh, there is issue as you can see after the base url we have to add this one but we forget to add a question mark okay so we have to also pass a question mark to here in our get request okay so let's pass a question mark on it okay now it has been done now run the app again first of all let's create clean the project okay now fine now run the project again As you can see app installed successfully now go to locate me fragment yeah this time it is working fine as you can see uh, ip is showing and country code is also showing and our img flag is also showing dynamically okay uh, if you want thinking that it is not dynamic let me show you using a vpn so first of all let me use a vpn just wait please let me connect it to some other vpn now i am using a usa vpn so it should be showing a usa ip i think so let's connect uh, create the project again run app again and go there just wait Our display is not working if using a VPN, but uh, 
IP location API is working fine. Country US is showing and a flag is also showing. But I am unable to show you here because it is stuck after using a VPN. Okay. Because after using a VPN, our screen mirroring app is not working because it usually works on uh, local Wi Fi. So it is basically disconnected. That's why I am unable to show you here. So let me disconnect the VPN and let me uh, take you the show screenshot. Just click here. As you can see here now, uh, IP address is showing from US and country code is also US showing and a country flag from US is also showing. Means all the data is receiving is dynamically. Okay. Hope you have understand it. If you have any issue, please feel free to contact me. Okay. I will meet you in the next video.